Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you some tips to speed up your WordPress website. Since I have already tried and tested out many other YouTube tutorials and basically they have worked a little bit, but the thing is that the best way that I have found was to have a better hosting and also hire a freelancer that can help me because using auto-optimize WP Rocket or anything by my own, well, I didn't got the best results but now as you can see most of my most of my urls as you can see here are almost on the hundreds and the uh, in the structure and performance and page loads of under one second i already run some tests now and you can see here that it is loading below the one second of course for example this image that i have made on my home page it still need to be optimized but these numbers are way better than in the past. As you can see here, I'm having below 11 requests and the amount of the page size. And also I'm having below even the 600 milliseconds in some other pages or some URLs. In some other videos, I already showed the page speed scores. And of course, also I have some plugins to be mentioned like Elementor and WPML that are not actually really fast or they don't help that much with the website's speed. But to speed up your WordPress website, it's feasible. I'm having already very good numbers. Also, like for example, that this one is loading that much is because I also have Anchor as a podcast embed. But basically the things that I would recommend you is to have a, of course, many people recommend to have a good hosting, but I changed to Vulture High Frequency since it was the one recommended in Facebook group, other YouTube videos and have the high frequency plan. You can start out with the $13. And of course, if you have, and if you want to use Cloudways, they have also Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud, but for more, for a bigger price. So this is actually, uh, if you're looking also for a good recommendation to change because I was using before SiteGround or even Kinsta, but Kinsta I don't recommend it. And if you are looking forward to use the Google Cloud Platform, you can actually use Cloudways and also have access to the Google Cloud Platform. And basically the big tip, since I'm more of a intermediate speed optimizer, I prefer to hire a freelancer from here from Fiverr who actually can help me to improve to better numbers. I was reaching out around 80s or below 90 on the page speed and also on the GT metrics. I was getting above one second, but I hired a freelancer. I searched this and I searched and I found Remat, who was the one who helped me. You can even hire him for $25 if you have a small website or if you have a bigger website or an e-commerce, it will cost around 100. But also there are many other freelancers that you can even try. But if you want to see which plugins that I'm using, or if you want to try it by your own, as I said, I didn't do it by my own, but here are the plugins that I would recommend if you're trying to do a speed optimization of your WordPress. The ones that were installed was the asset cleanup. This will help you with the Elementor to decide which scripts are not to load. As you can see, I have here Elementor, not really good recommended, but for the website speed, but as we can see now, it's also feasible to reach good loading times. I also have some other plugins such as Rank Math or WPML, as I mentioned that this might add a little bit more code to the website, but it's feasible to reach good uh, speed times. Also, I have Statically, which it will help you to optimize the image, CSS and JavaScript through a CDN. So it will also help you to improve the performance and also WP Rocket. If you want to see how I have the configuration, basically it was main the minification of the JavaScript, the loading time, the load of the JavaScript was deferred and the delay of the execution of the JavaScripts. 
Also, the media was set on the lazy load for images, iframes, and also the YouTube preview images. And also I have that the embeds checked and also the image dimension. Any other set here on WP Rocket was mainly not really that much used. And also here I have the asset cleanup where the CSS minification, the combination of the CSS, inlines, and also the dynamic loading were checked. Also, as I mentioned, for the Elementor, you can here unload or decide which are not loaded on the website. But basically, these are the main plugins that you can try to use. The uh, WP Rocket, you must buy it. Asset Cleanup, you can have a free version. And Statically, is also a free plugin. So it's a matter of fact of just setting up this plugin. Sorry that I cannot really do a full walkthrough, but I'm just showing out the ones that I'm having. But as you can see, the performance of my website has improved. They're mostly on, or they're all on grade A. The page loading times, just in the cases that I have an embed like Anchor, but basically it has really improved. I'm gonna still wait some days to see the improvements on the Core Web Vitals on the Google Search Console, but I will probably do a video later. So I hope that this video helped you to have some tips about how to speed up your WordPress website. Thanks for watching.